just two moms. We're expert contributors of FamilyAffairs.com. I'm Christy. And I'm Debbie. And today we're going to talk about everything has a season. With the seasons changing, we started thinking about the things that our kids used to do and some of the things that they do now. Um, for us, and it was kind of hard to make that transition. For us, uh, my son used to love to go horseback riding. He was looking for that sensory input. Mm -hmm. um, horseback riding, very nice. Not so nice on the pocketbook. <laughs> expensive. Very expensive. More than a dollar a minute when you put that child on the horse. And he really enjoyed that for a while. And then I started listening to him and he said, I, I'm really, I don't want to do this anymore. And that was hard because I knew that it was something that we had gotten into a routine of doing and I thought he enjoyed. But I listened to him and said, you know what, if you're not enjoying it, then we're going to abandon it and look for something else. Mm -hmm. And for us, uh, my son uh, joined a martial arts um, school called Budo, which was phenomenal, um, run by some amazing young men at the time, and they still do it. Uh, he started probably somewhere in, I think, first or second grade. He was really little. And he actually made the decision coming into high school, leaving middle school, that he thought he would be way too busy going into high school, that it would be too much because by that point you're doing three days a week at least going to um, martial arts classes. Okay. And, you know, we supported him. He made it all the way to, I think, an advan advanced red belt, which we were really proud of. And the lessons that he learned um, with class members in his class were amazing, working and collaborating together, learning all the different things. And it's also a self-defense thing. For kids that are bullied a lot with Asperger's, it was really important for him to know what he needed to do with his own body when somebody else gets in your space, if something needed to be done. And we always understood that one of the first lines of defense is to um, make sure that there's a space between people and he, he let adults know if something wasn't going well. Mm -hmm. So it was a great thing for him, but when he said to us, I really think that it's something that I want to I want to stop doing, um, we listened to him, and he made that decision. Mm -hmm. And it was hard for us because we became such a family with all the other families that were involved, and we all supported one another doing so many different things. But again, special needs families, you find different things that your child is into, and you go on to another thing for your child. And, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. So everything has an end. I agree. And we had the same thing with um, Cub Scouts. We did Cub Scouts for many years. We found that to be a very warm inviting um, environment for all of us, a very welcoming environment. Um, and then my son, I guess, decided it was just getting too difficult for him. I think it was the knot tying. We got to the end with the tying of the That's knots, hard. and, and it, it kind of threw him off. Um, and he, I think he started to realize there was more of a gap um, academically between him and the other kids, where the other kids could read from the book out loud, and we would have to pass, or right. he would read slowly, and I would read it again. So he decided one day, he said, I don't want to do Cub Scouts anymore. And we said, don't you want to finish out the year? Hopefully. And he said, no, I, I want to be done. So we listened to him. And even though that was difficult, because mm -hmm. uh, it was support for us, that's what we decided to do. So I think the message is, you know, listen to your child. Sometimes they're telling you that they're done with something. And our kids tend to perseverate on things and get mm -hmm. stuck on them and want to do them over and over. And you think that it'll last forever. And then one day you wake up and they switched on to something else. Right. So. And that's okay. Mm-hmm.